Welcome back to the Mac, well, the Mac Live, I guess I'm not calling yes right now, but we uh, last week we were able to talk about Mac Capital and how you're able to invest on a more passive setting instead of maybe investing into real estate deals by yourself. Maybe you see that as too risky, um, maybe you don't know what you're doing, maybe you don't have any education in real estate. Um, you know you want to get in it, you know you should be, um, and you hear everyone talking about it, but it's like, well, how do I go from that to actually getting into a real estate deal? Um, and this week, I will be hosting, actually tomorrow at noon, we will be having our first webinar, basically how you can get into real estate, why it's important for you invest, investing-wise. Um, I always talk about it's not like we have to go through high school and then we have to go to college and then we have to, you know, go get a corporate job. Instead, we can learn how can we follow a path that's a little bit different and have a greater outcome. So we don't have to be 59 and a half years years old to freaking retire one day. I don't even know if I'm going to live that long. Um, And I know a lot of people feel the same way. So that's why I talk about unfollow the herd and I have a newsletter on Saturday mornings that goes out and it's basically everything to do with unfollowing the common path, uh, a little bit of contrarian thinking um, and gets you in a path set up where you can retire maybe much earlier or just live a lifestyle that's not tied to just your one income um, and creating more multiple streams of income that one day you can retire um, before 59 and a half because what's the fun and working all the way until 59 and a half. And then, of course, that is the most lucrative part of your career because you're going to get paid more and more money. Um, all Any baby boomers on this could probably vouch that, yeah, in the last few years, I've made the most money that I ever have. And they keep offering me more money and more money and more money. It's just like that. Pretty soon you're 75 and you're still working. Um, and the average age is about 77 for a male and 80 for a woman. So, you do want to get through the math of this that owning real estate and following a common a, a different path can lead to success much quicker and that's why um, I'm doing this webinar tomorrow so basically you know the biggest problem is that things can be complicated in the investing space there's a lot of options out there we're all directed to one path maybe a 401k right like if you have a job um, we talk about in some of our companies we have four percent matches. Um, but then we have things like asset management fees and there's hedge funds that charge fees and everyone charges fees. I don't know why the concept is just dump the money in the 401k as a savings account, because at the end of the day, it's basically a high yield savings account that is not guaranteed to go up in value. And you can't even touch the money till you're 59 and a half. So it's just basically a savings account that if you pull money from it, you're going to get penalized. So I don't know why people think they have to use that path. There's definitely so many more alternatives that are better than just a 401k. Is it a tool? Can it be used for retirement? Yes. Should it be the only source for retirement? No. And the actual guy who like literally built the 401k system, he like said these were, it was actually never designed. As the, na- as the nation's primary retirement system. That was not even the reason that they ever built the 401k. Um, y- they built a 401k basically as a plan to help compensate employees at a tax-free basis because you get to invest in your 401k pre-tax. So you get taxed, hopefully, when you're older and have lex- less taxes due a different income bracket. So while you're making all your money and you're in the highest income track highest income bracket, you actually get to just, you get to go into this 401k tax free, hopefully at 60, you're in a lower tax bracket and you pay less taxes. I get the concept, but it's not the best means or methods for retirement. I'm telling you, there's literally, they did never built a 401k system. So, um, and what is the 401k system tied to? It's tied to the stock market. Does the the stock market guaranteed to go up every year? No, it's not. It's not. Most people don't understand that either. Um, So, but it's a great way for the government to say, hey, the 401k is still the best position. Um, the, The considered normal is 
go into a 401k because that's what everyone else does, right? Like that's what my dad, my parents did. I'm just telling you, I'm here that things are changing and you need to adapt with the times. So because that's the problem and I'll be talking a lot deeper about this tomorrow's webinar and I, I, want, I want you all to be there. So make sure that you register. There should be a link that you'll see on this afterwards. Jen will post below. Um, make sure you come at noon tomorrow. I'm going to teach you a bunch of things on why re your 401k is not your best retirement source and how you, no matter your age, you could be 60 now, just converting your thinking into putting in some real estate deals, so many more tax benefits. There's so many more benefits on how to invest in today's world. So, um, and, and so some of the things that like we have to talk about, it's like, is there a better way to invest? Yes, like for sure. And more people need to get educated. That is like my passion, my purpose. Like I want other people to know like how what I'm doing and what I'm doing to build myself and how I'm setting myself up for retirement. Not only how I'm building myself, but I literally bought an eightplex for my kids. Like they're they're going to retire better when they <laughs> when they graduate, they'll probably all be almost a millionaire. And I did that literally with their birthday and Christmas money. I closed on that deal. So they'll, they're going to own this deal. They're like two, seven, and nine years old. And literally in 10 years, we'll refinance this thing. It'll pay a lot of their college. Uh, it'll pay for their cell phones. It'll help pay for their cars. It'll help provide them a little cash flow while they're at college. I told them, I'm not helping them. I'm like, I like go with Kevin O'Leary's like theme, like, <laughs> his son's like, dad, I need some money because I need a car or something. He's like, I don't know, find a job, um, go figure it out. So he's like, his son's working at Jamba Juice um, and uh, Kevin O'Leary's son. So uh, Kevin's got a lot more money than I do, but it's just, he's just trying to teach his son that, hey, you need to find your own way. This is not just a, we're going to ride dad's back through life. So um, that's, just, and, and I believe even when Kevin retires, he's like donating 90% of the money. Like the kids get nothing. Mr. Wonderful is maybe not all Mr. Wonderful, but I think Jen would have a problem with that. <laughs> um, but you just have to understand I'm, what people do, what the super wealthy are doing. Like I always like in 2017, I was on my phone. Literally, I was like, all right, I'm a concrete guy. I'm literally at ground zero. Like I'm not happy. I'm working to death. I've had panic attacks, night sweats. I'm working my ass off in my business to try to make like a living. But the problem was I was in concrete work. I was doing construction. It's hard on you, right? And I was like, there's got to be a better way. There's like no way that I could make enough money to even store. I didn't know where to put it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to keep any money. Um, and, and by what I mean by keeping money is parking it into investment classes that make you money. Because the super wealthy understand, you know, they're not hoarding cash. They're out putting their money to work because they know they have to beat things like inflation. Like right now, like college kids are getting their teeth punched in by inflation because they will never be able to afford a home because interest rates are ridiculous right now. Homes are 400000 They can't afford these mortgages. They can't afford their student debt. Um, so the country's in a little bit of a crisis and we're just at a point right now where the wealthier are getting wealthier and the poorer are getting poorer. And so you got to understand and start acting like the super wealthy and start doing things that they're doing. And even I, I get it. I don't have a lot of money, whatever. There's lots of excuses out there, but don't be taking on a lot of bad debt. Don't be living a lifestyle. Lifestyle inflation is a true thing. Like the older you get, the larger your lifestyle inflation gets. And the more liabilities you get, the more income you need to make just to cover your life. Um, so make sure that your debt to income, like you understand that every month. You should be living on less than you make. I mean, it's simple math, but like I think Dave, Ra Dave Ramsey teaches that best. I would tell you if that is your category, like you don't have any money to go anywhere, like go and follow Dave Ramsey. But as soon as you have a couple months worth of revenue in the bank, it's time to move on from Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey just means get out of debt and freaking don't buy stupid shit. That's basically all he says. So it's like Dave is a smart guy, but as soon as he tells you that don't take any leverage, 
He's just talking about don't buy a credit card. Don't get in a bunch of credit card debt. Don't get in vehicle debt. Don't get in bad debt. But where Dave ends is where you need to use leverage in things that appreciate in value, go up in value. And I'm not talking about a house. Houses are gigantic liabilities. They have gigantic mortgages. They have no chance to producing revenue. Will they go up in value over time? Yes, slowly, but they will go up in value over time. Um, so I just really wanted to get you to understand that converting your thinking to think how the wealthy think and, and you know, use your credit as a tool to get leverage to buy assets that go up in value. Um, and so guys, there's so many millionaires out there that are literally the dumbest people I know, like literally the dumbest people I know. You don't have to be super smart to do this. You just have to understand these concepts that I'm going to teach tomorrow. And, and you, if you want to be the 1%, you need to start acting like the 1%. And if you want to succeed in life and in your retirement and yeah, you have to understand these concepts that I'm going to go through tomorrow and I want to make sure that you're there. So hit the link, um, register if you're able to. Um, guys, I was just a concrete guy like literally 13 years ago is when I started my first company. Um, I quit my job. I got a mortgage. I did all the things that I was told to do. I went to college for four years. I still need 12 credits to um, to even get through college. Um, and I I'm not going to go back. There's no reason to. And I was just following the common path because my whole life growing up, um, growing up like in a trailer park and like just not having means of money, I just wanted to act normal. I wanted to go confirmation. I wanted to have a car. Um, but in order for me to do that, I had to make money. And going into business, I realized that, wow, I can... I, what I love, I, I realized that I was an entrepreneur. And when you realize you're an entrepreneur, you want to make money as fast as possible, right? You realize that I'm not paid hourly anymore. I'm just here earning money as fast as I can get the job done. Um, the problem with that was, is I didn't understand how to keep any of the money. And when you can't keep any money, you're not going to build any net worth and you're just going to live in a cycle of debt liabilities, more liabilities. The more money you make, the more liabilities you take. And if you live on that means and methods forever, yes, it's great because you get the instant gratification and get the pickup, you get the car, you get the whatever you want to buy, you just swipe it, but it's just material stuff. It's nothing that is going to create any impact in 10 or 20 years. You have to learn how to keep money. Um, and I'm going to go through, again, this in depth, tomorrow at noon. So I want you to make sure you're there. Um, but these are just some of the things that I came from. This is what I've learned. This is what I'm teaching. And this is what, what how my mindset shifted. And guys, if you have, if you don't have enough time on your hands right now, that's fine. That's, that's what Matt Capital's for. That's literally why he created it. Because if you are a doctor, a plumber, um, a dentist, you know, a farmer, you don't have time to go dig into real estate deals, find deals, get the deal, land the deal, find financing for the deal, you know, get the whole deal freaking set up and then manage the deal <laughs> after the process. When you have a man when you have a property manager, you still have to manage the manager. There's continual stuff that you have to do. And not everyone has time for that. I understand that. So my goal here is to help you Mac with Mac Capital is to help you provide a way to the people without time that can still educate themselves, still push the needle. So um, guys, if you haven't got into my newsletter as well, either, like it's called unfollow the herd for a reason, make sure you're subscribed to that thing below it's coming out every Saturday. It's like, we're already up, up over 800 people now subscribe to that. Um, we just started this six weeks ago. So we had zero. We're already at 800. It's helping a ton of people understand real estate. Whether you want to do the deal yourself, I'm providing you value. If you want to do a real estate deal with me and understand way as I think, that's what's in this new newsletter, exactly the way I think. So um, that's the best way I can help you um, if you don't want to invest beside us. So um, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. But if you want to learn more on how you can change your investing career, like change your path, change everything about, like we're going to have open Q&A at the end of this. I'm going to have a lot of knowledge and and we got real estate deals coming up that are going to be funded soon. Um, 
It can change the entire dynamic. It can tenfold what you can make in the next five years um, compared to your 401k. It did for me. I know it can do for you. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, and I want to help you just show you the shortcuts that help me. Um, so that any, we got real questions, anything on there? Okay. Katie, what's your question? We got a new background. Um, what was the biggest monumental piece of advice that helped you? Oh boy. My most monumental piece of advice to shift my mindset. Yeah, you know, the most monumental thing to keep more money was, like I said, I was having panic attacks, night sweats. Like I was like in a, I, as an entrepreneur, I was succeeding. I was making money, but I realized like my body was like starting to like, I'm not going to be able to do it all, all the time. So I needed to start, you know, figuring out how to keep more money. How am I making money while I'm sleeping? Um, and you hear all these things from Warren Buffett, um, um, but I didn't know anything about it. So I was curious. So then I got curious and I think my phone figured out I was pretty curious. So in 2017, like this, uh, tiny human called Grant Cardone, uh, popped up on my phone and said, Hey, you got to do what the super wealthy are doing. Um, and if you're not, you're going to be left behind. And so he's just an aggressive individual. Um, but he sends a good message and, he basically led me down one of his landing pages into just learning more about it. I don't think I paid the guy all that much money as far as investing, you know, with him or any of his programs, but he did have a lot of value with impacting how I thought my process was. Um, so I'd say Grant Cardone. And, the, and then there's a second piece to that where he opened the doors up to a little purple book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, and that describes a bunch of concepts of like, say the, the rich doctor, you know, in rich dad, poor dad, like the rich doctor. Yeah. He has everything he wants. He's got this big lifestyle. The problem is if that doctor dies or something happens where he can't perform his job, like it ends, like everything, everything's gone. You're not building any net worth. Well, then he had a, um, they considered a poor uncle, I think is what the book read. And uh, the poor uncle would actually, he just didn't wear anything flashy. He was just like, you know, your good old boy who drove a 1990 GMC for the rest of his life. Um, but instead of, instead of working all the time, he invested his money correctly. And it compounded to be way larger than what his, what his rich dad ever said. So, um, that I think, I think his poor uncle is, I don't know, whatever, if I'm probably screwing this up, but his rich dad was a guy that made a lot of money, but owned nothing. And his poor dad was the guy that really didn't make a bunch of money, but invested it correctly to have impact for like the rest of his, like the rest of his family understood. He didn't need a job. He had all his passive income. So it was a compounding of wealth. So those are probably, I guess the two monumental things that I can think of. Um, any other questions on this? Um, <clears throat> and guys, if you want to send me a message, like DM me, I answer the DMs. Like, uh, if you have more questions on real estate investing or like how to do it, maybe you're, I don't care if you're doing it with yourself or with me, however you're going to do it. I'm just like, make sure you're doing it right and miss all the mistakes. Um, so um, guys, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Make sure to register for the webinar. Follow me on LinkedIn. Follow me on the social media platforms. It helps me a ton. YouTube, I'm doing. If you guys just like video, as I'm showing you how I'm getting real estate deals done, like right now. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, see you guys in the next week, next Monday at noon. Peace. Oh, cool.